I'm going to talk about the arbitrary waveform sequencing capability in Agilent's new 33500 series of function arbitrary waveform generators. What is sequencing? Sequencing is analogous to the playlist on your MP3 player. You can pull a bunch of different songs in different memory locations and play them in a list. If you wanted to, you could repeat a song three or four times. Sequencing does the same thing for you, but on an arbitrary waveform generator. Let me show you. So you can see I have an arbitrary waveform up there right now, stored in memory. Let me show you another one. Bring it up. This is sort of a trapezoidal waveform. Let me bring up a third one. This is sort of a step waveform. Now I created a sequence that's going to show all of those, and it's going to transition from one to the next seamlessly. So here you can see our first waveform. We run it for one cycle. Then we switch to our trapezoidal waveform seamlessly. We run it for three cycles. And then finally, we do our last waveform, the step waveform. We do it for one cycle. Now, of course, I could vary the cycle counts any way I want, or I could use triggering. Let me show you an example where I use triggering. This time, I have a sequence set up with three waveforms to transition from one waveform to the next using triggers. Actually, I have two sequences, one on channel one and one on channel two. Channel one's in yellow and channel two's in green. So let me move to the next waveform, trigger one, move to the next waveform, trigger two. Now let me bring it back to the beginning and let's look at these waveforms again in XY mode. They're much more interesting. So I'm changing the scope to XY mode, trigger one, trigger two.